Hey, this is TJ, Backpack Trader. Thought I would do a recap of today's crude oil session. It was definitely a session that required perseverance and patience. Just showing the power of the trade plan, there were literally four break-even trades in a row, and it was the fifth trade that hit all the targets. So let's just quickly walk through. I'll show you what happened. So remember, we started at 8.50, triggered in right here at 8.52, went straight on up, missed the trailing target, but when it got to target one, the stop moved up, break even, came down, stopped out. Uh, this trade, just to be clear, I made an adjustment on the entry, a couple ticks above because of the spike, the double spike right there. So I didn't get in right here at the entry, I got in right at this level, 69 instead of 67. Still, it was a break-even trade. Then, nothing, 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 and there was a trade of opportunity here. This is one of the setups that I uh, teach in the training, and it's a, it doesn't show, it's not programmed into the indicators. It's actually uh, one that we learn how to do manually. But it's a really great trade. I was all over it. I definitely took it. In this case, it ended up being a break-even trade also. You know, I got in uh, two ticks above plus the key level adjustment. So literally, I got in at 76. And it came up, up, down, finally went up and didn't quite get to its target two. It literally missed by one tick, which was unfortunate because then it came down and stopped out at break-even. Once it got past target one, I moved the stop up to break even, came down, and then because there was another setup that occurred, remember the, the actual indicator doesn't know that I'm taking a discretionary trade of opportunity here. We had a flip your mama setup, and uh, I got in sync, and I took that trade as well, because after I stopped out of the original trade, I saw this trade was now being tracked by the strategy system and the indicators and all that, so when it came up, I grabbed it and that one came up and also got to break even and then came down and stopped out at break even. So I guess I said there were four break even trades. Actually, there were three, three break even trades. And then this short trade happened right here. And one of the things we always talk about, the failure to get higher often leads to a strong move in the opposite direction. And we did make new daily highs. This was a dogfight every step of the way. And the new daily high that was just put in was right here at this $86 barrel level, major key level. And, of course, that's where the fight occurred. Failed to get higher, set up the short, and that one came down. Also a dogfight, having to fight through all this support. But it ultimately did. It looks like it's a lot faster just going through after the fact. This took some patience, a lot of up and down, up and down, up and down, but ultimately it came down and hit all five targets. I was in targets two, three, and four, hit my trade plan goals. Whoever was trailing would have stopped out right there, and that was it. That was the end of the session. Really great trade, this final one. And uh, now the crude oil session's about to begin, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video, and uh, I'll record that one as well. You can check that out on a subsequent video. If you'd like to learn more about the cloud control system, send me an email, troy at backpacktrader.com, and I'll see you on the next video.